Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the media is telling you not to go to Disney. Mm -hmm. I thought that was uh, interesting. This is very interesting, and uh, we're going to talk about that. The Disney parks, of course, most of them are closed except for Walt Disney World, which is still open, and apparently the crowds are pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, they're heavy. Same for Universal. They're very, very heavy. Yeah, but uh, we've got mainstream media outlets like Insider telling you not to bother going. Don't go, because you're not going to get what you paid for, and it's very crowded. It is very crowded. Which is leading to some other other issues. Yes. That, uh, the, yeah. Do you want me to talk about the other issues? We will talk about the other issues, but first. Oh, okay. But first. But first. Always a but. There's always a but. Uh, first, we're going to ask you to subscribe. If you haven't done so already, guys, we're over 164,000 subs. We're supposed to be close to 165. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, we do talk about pop culture. We talk a lot about Disney because we are, believe it or not, Disney Parks fans uh, have worked in different capacities in and around the Walt Disney Company. No, -uh, you're just making it up. No just, one listens to you ever. Just making all that up. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Disney Parks. And there really isn't a lot to talk about with the Disney Parks because most of them are shut down. Well, I got something to talk about today, which is what led me to this article. Yeah. So we're going to talk about, uh, I guess, the, the hygiene protocols at Walt Disney World and Universal. Okay. So uh, they keep saying it's at a, like a 35% capacity cap. I'm seeing the pictures. I find that very hard to believe, okay? So first of all, you have all these parks that are supposed to be like, you know, at this, ca they're caps, but they keep adding more availability. I don't think it's true. Yeah. So that started it. And then they started adding, they used to distance people on the ride vehicles. Well, now they're putting people every seat, every row. And their argument was, well, on things like Expedition Everest or Rock and Roller Coasters, cause the seat, the, the backs of the seats were high. Cause don't you know high seat backs? completely stop a viral spread. <laughs> but if that's not enough, they just started sitting everyone um, on flight of passage seat by seat. And like we're seeing images like this from Block Mickey where they are literally people putting people side by side, elbow to elbow. These seats are right against each other. If you have ridden flight of passage, then you know. Um, and there are rows of these seats and then, the, then it's like a screen in front of you and you're yeah. kind of leaned forward. So you're leaning forward over the people beneath you. That's and true. Then, and yeah. then and then they have this, and I don't see any shields in between. Um, some of the other rides, they have put shields up in between because, you know, shields are going to stop everything. Yeah, so let's talk about, about this situation. Then we're going to talk about uh, Insider saying that Disney just is not worth it at all now. Uh, now, the purpose of the video is not to talk about whether or not you think COVID is serious enough to avoid you know, going right. out in public or anything That's like that. That's your choice. And I even said that in my article. I'm like, yeah. if you, you know, think it's something to worry about, by all means, you do what's good for you and what you want to do. That's not the issue here. The issue here is Disney had to jump through all these hoops to reopen. They right. had to go through all these you know, guidelines and all these protocols and to prove that they're ready to open. And among them were social distancing and spacing out of rides. People book trips based on the fact they're supposed to be having these um, guidelines and these, these, these things in place. And now they're not because you can't shove as many people in when you have those things blocking the ride. So it takes longer to fill the cars. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Yeah, and of course, a lot of people calling out that there are some folks not wearing their masks. And they were actually CGing masks on people. They were point. for a while, but they stopped doing that. I don't know why. Uh, so you are riding rides now nuts to butts with people like they always were. Yeah, and, you know, the, the thing is, is that uh, at least here in Pennsylvania, they're locking down again. Um, because the cases are going up. And again, I'm not going to argue with you whether or not you think it's, it's serious, not serious, whatever. That's not the point. The point was Disney was supposed to make these changes they were supposed to, to be changes. allowed to reopen, to make it safe for people that, you know, might be worried about it. And they're just now throwing that to the wind, saying that they have guidelines and they can do this. I'm like, you have to wear a mask, but you can ride right up against each other. Yeah. Elbow to elbow. Um, Blog Mickey even points out that, uh, you know, about people not wearing the masks. It said if that's the case that, you know, the uh, high velocity of the mm -hmm. rides will blow your mask off. Or push it up to your face. You can't yeah, they you. said maybe Disney should just reconsider if the ride should even be open in the first place. So, yeah, like you said, they had to go through, jump through ridiculous hoops to open Walt Disney World. And, uh, you know, same with Universal. And I'll say, you know, we, we did go down in September. Yeah. And I would say of the two locations... 
at the time. At the time, yeah. I don't know if that's still the case. I but don't think it is. As of September, Universal handled um, distancing and sanitation, I think, better than Disney did. But look, we know Disney is... So this shows you exactly where, where people are with this. The virus is serious until our company is hurting for money. And now we're just going to uh, you know, be a little lax with the rules. They signed a waiver. We got them into the park. They signed a waiver. And and uh, we got to make money, or we're going to go out well, of business. Well, that's just it. They keep people. Other people have been arguing that they think that's higher capacity than what they've announced. They kept making more availability. Now it's the holiday week. It's week of holiday, which is always really bad. But even before that started, they were having a lot of people being shoved in there. Um, lines were long, so to stop the, the long wait times with all the people that they probably shouldn't have in there, they are starting to fill every seat. Sometimes they have shields up and gla- plexiglass dividers. That like things like this, they don't. Things like yeah. flight of passage, they don't. And, you know, you can be, you're supposed to wear a mask. Well, if you're supposed to wear a mask and social distance, wearing a mask and being right up against somebody touching somebody else is not probably a good idea. Plus, we were there in September. It was starting to get busy, but it wasn't bad yet. And you couldn't walk sometimes because there's so many people. And people weren't following the social distancing markers anyway. So why have them? If you're going to shove them on a ride like this, you have the social distance in line the whole way up to the ride, only to be shoved next to people, you, you know, another party beside you. Or behind you, or whatever. Well, on flight of passage, it's, they're putting yeah. parties next to each other. Yeah, and you have to go through several rooms unless they're they're bypassing those. Where there's a pre-show and you're next to each other. I'm assuming they bypassed that because they didn't. That's even worse. Well, they were bypassing when we were there. Again, when we were there at the end of September, they were bypassing it like the Han Mansion. They were bypassing the stretching room. Right. They were loading people every other vehicle. Um, they were making an attempt to distance people as best as they could. So. I think what gets me about this, and and somebody said, they said, when you're partnered with the CCP, you can make up the rules as you go along. What are the rules? Because they said they had to follow certain guidelines to open the parks. And these parks are as packed as they have ever been. And it doesn't look like there's any difference at all except people wearing masks. Right. Because like I said, people are not following the markings on the ground. Um, They weren't following. We had that, what was his name again? The kid? Uh, they weren't following it. We were there in September. The one that was on your butt all the whole oh, time. Oh, Mackie. Little Mackie wasn't following the guidelines. Oh, granted, he was a little child. But his parents weren't stopping him either because, oh, look, it's all about our spread, precious Mackie. And, you know, people weren't following the social distancing markers then. And there wasn't anywhere near the amount of people that they're shoving in now. 35% my foot. Yeah, it's there. Look, Disney's packing them in as much as they can because, again, they have to make money. The only source of revenue they have for their theme parks at this point is Walt Disney World. So you better believe for all their talk of, you know, we're going to be safe, we're going to be clean, whatever. They're going to pack them in like sardines because they got to make up lost revenue from Disneyland. They got to make up lost revenue from the the, uh, international parks, from the cruise lines. You know, they're, they're running right. out of money. And that might, the, some of the crowd levels might drop off in the new year. I, I They could, they usually do. But, you know, Disney for all their, you know, look, we're the gold standard. They're, they, they, yeah, they're the gold standard as far as making money. They mean gold for money. Yeah. For like, how are you supposed to do this right? You sign these waivers. I mean, first of all, it'd be impossible to prove that you got COVID yeah, at Disney anyway. Yeah. You stop different places. They'll, their, their argument, and they'd win most likely, would be, well, you know, you prove you got it here. You went to the airport, you, know, you went to the gas station. You yeah, went to the, you know, yeah, prove, yeah. prove you got it here would be their argument. Um, and when you're signing those waivers, you're basically saying, well, if you get it, you're not blaming them. So they're legally, you know, not liable. So they're just shoving them all in. Yep. So my point is, if you're a person who's worried about this kind of thing, you might not want to go. And even if you're a person who's not worried about this kind of thing, the crowds are effing ridiculous. They're limiting my ass. You probably don't want to go until like next year when the crowds die down. Yeah, uh, so that brings me to the, the next point here. And, and they are talking about the crowds here on, on uh, the Orlando Sentinel. But the insider, not the not the other insider, but... Not the, the one we, used to, we built, the in, this insider. The insider that actually counts, the mainstream media insider, said, uh, don't make the same mistake I did by visiting Disney during a pandemic. It's not worth it. We said the same thing. And my God, did we get shit on right. for that? Because we said, you know... We were down there covering for Pirates and Princesses, but, you know, I would have felt ripped off had I spent, you know, $5,000 or whatever a family would spend on a vacation down there to fly in and do all this stuff. And you only got like a quarter of the experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have felt massively ripped off. And they said they did. 
uh, they did feel ripped off. This is coming from the insider. They said they visited Disney World with uh, their family. On, and, oh, and the week after Thanksgiving. That yeah, still wasn't usually that bad. It usually so. isn't. The week after Thanksgiving, Disney World was busier than we expected. Yeah, it was for us, too. Uh, but at least mask wearing was encouraged throughout the parks. Um, now they're just sitting in, you know, next to each other. Uh, but that's not as bad as the one with uh, Flight of Passage. Where they're literally sitting parties next to each other. Yeah. Um, Florida Theme Park had made a number of necessary changes in the interest of safety, but the magic felt a little lost with longer wait times for the attractions and popular restaurants closed. Well, they're doing this. Everybody's seating every seat because they're trying to, you know, bring people back and, and make the wait times less. Because they had their wait times are ridiculous. The lines are horrible. Yeah. Uh, because they have they have all these people crammed in, but they're supposed to be social, socially distancing them. So to try to make it move faster, they're just putting more people on the attractions. And I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't. If you try that kind of crap in other in other places, you get in trouble. Uh, yeah. What's going to happen is they're they're going to piss around, and the CDC is going to get. You know, or is the, are they? Because they're claiming that they have permission to do this and that they've been doing the different I don't things know. like this. Are they? Because we already have DeSantis saying he refuses to shut Florida down well, that's again. True. Um, I don't know. I mean, PA is cruising for a shutdown the way it's been going lately. And I just, I mean, and a lot of people like have mixed feelings on it around here even. A lot of people, you know, don't like wearing masks or whatever they have to do. And I think even they would be like, holy crap, if they saw this. So Yeah, so that's the thing. I mean, look, if they're following safety protocols, whatever, just so people feel safe. But again, you're already taking a hit in the, the experience because a lot of stuff's not open yet. But now it just seems like there's whatever, whatever. Just just come down here and spend money. My God, we need you to spend as much money as possible. When we went to Universal, before you got into the ride vehicle, they gave you hand sanitizer. And then, then you're supposed to use it on the way out afterwards. Yeah, Are they Universal hand sanitizing all these people before? Because when Disney World, they weren't when we were there. No, Disney World was not. Uh, Universal, again, I, I can't vouch as to what's going on currently. Right now. But in September, yeah, before and after you got on and off a ride, they had hand sanitizers mandatory. You had to use it. They're wiping down. We saw them wiping down ride vehicles, uh, tables all the time. Disney World, not the, not the case. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, man, yeah, Epcot was terrible. Epcot they, was it was terrible, food and yeah. wine, and they weren't even wiping the tables down. We we're like, oh, it'll be fine. They're, they're supposed to be on top of this. They weren't. Um and they're supposed to be re reviewed by some, you know, that, that they were having a group going around and reviewing the, the, the parks and stuff to make sure they were keeping up the guidelines. Oh, they're supposed to be had kept up the guidelines fantastically. And I'm like, how? Because when I was there, they were not cleaning stuff. So this was interesting. If you read this article, and again, this is, this is a pretty well-read uh, site, news site. And they said they took all kinds of precautions from Utah to Florida. We drove. We did drive. We, we, and I hate driving. We drove because we we're like, well, if we're going to get sick, it's going to be on the plane. Because we're in a, t I mean, I saw how many seats were sold. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah they no. weren't distancing on the plane either. No, they weren't distancing. But they said that they felt safe until they got to Disney World. They said once we got to Disney World, it didn't feel so safe. That's what our daughter said too. Yeah. She said she felt safer at Universal than Disney. Yeah. Um, yeah, Disney just look, and this is all, it comes down to money. I mean, they'll talk mm -hmm. a good game about, you know, do what you got to do, social distance, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, Disney's like, we have to make money and yeah. you know, we're going to do whatever. We're going to shove as many people in there yep. as we can. That is exactly it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty interesting. That this is out there. Like, don't go to Disney now, guys. It's not worth it. We said that, too. You know, yeah. Regardless of how you feel about the virus. Right. It's, it's, you're getting full, paying full price for a part of the experience. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're paying, so you're getting ripped off. I mean, you're paying full price for a quarter of the experience. Uh, and the crowds look extra bad. It used to be and, cool that there was hardly anybody there and you could just get on to stuff. But that's been over since like August. That's yeah. been over since like August. And it's getting worse because they keep adding capacity. Yeah, despite all precautions, they even called to see if they had, you know, every other seat on the bus and plexiglass and all that. Now, there were, there were plexiglass. Uh, barriers on some of the rides at mm -hmm. Universal. In fact, there was a, an altercation on King Kong. Oh my gosh, yes. I forgot uh, about that. Some dude was, I think he was mad as either he was mad at his girlfriend or he was mad about the plexiglass, but he started. Or the masks. Uh, the masks, and he was slamming on the plexiglass. And uh, I don't know if he got thrown out or what, but they, they had to talk into. But uh, yeah, they were spacing him out every other row mm -hmm. then. Again, that was months ago. Yeah, there was ago. a fight. He was like, there was like a big fight on the ride, and he was hitting the glass. Uh, so, despite all the precautions his family took, they were stunned by what they experienced at the happiest place on earth. My wife and I frequently saw throngs of massive crowds. Yep, we saw that too. Shoulder to shoulder as they gathered in front of Cinderella's castle. They're acting just like they did pre-pandemic. 
yeah, it, this is it. This is what it looks like normally, guys. Uh, there's no difference. Um, I experienced a crowd of people so thick at one point in Adventureland that a woman near me shrieked out uh, to the people in her party, get me out of here. This is crazier than a frat party. Um, through, though a representative at Disney World told Insider the company did not publicly share attendance yeah. numbers. Yeah, bullshit, 35%. Yeah, bullshit. That's not 35%. Now, understand, too, I don't think the park is, uh, you know, you ever see it hit 100% except for, like, at holidays. Mm -hmm. So on a normal trip there, I would guess it's probably 50 60%, yeah. you know. So, you know, this being this busy. And you have to understand, too, some things are closed, like restaurants are closed and some other things are closed. So usually people are spread out more. Mm -hmm. Um, So 35 to 40%, it could be like a normal day. Yeah. For, you know, for, for some t times a year. Yeah. Uh, so when it first opened in July, it was a ghost town. They said it now they're, they're they're packed. They said one local pass holder told me the park was unrecognizable today compared with how it appeared to her just a few mm -hmm. months ago. Um, there's no reason to believe the number of Disney bound travelers won't continue to rise now that the uh, FDA has granted emergency use authorization uh, to the vaccines. Uh, there's a spike in flight booking searches on November 9th. Um, you know, and they're they're uh, offering steep discounts. But yeah, I mean, they have to make up for Disneyland. They Most have to make up for free tickets or hotel room like yeah, price. And it's breaks. not that good of a deal. But they offer those even when it's not pandemic. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you're still pretty much paying what you'd pay normally, and you're just like, and look at that. When oh was my. that? Oh my god. I don't know. This is it. This is probably Thanksgiving. These are his pictures. Oh my god. Um, okay. The magic of Disney World was missing again. This is coming from a, a mainstream yeah, media outlet. I... Uh, Disney has made several operational adjustments. At the time of our visit, we found many of our favorite park staples were understandably lacking or right. absent That's altogether. Right, that's happened a lot. Uh, character interactions have been suspended. I actually did like the little mini parade, the promenades. Yeah, no, I was going to tell you real quick. I saw that they were talking about it on WDW News Today that the new park maps, maps for Animal Kingdom don't have uh, the Festival of the Lion King or Nemo on them now. Oh. Like, they said that they were going to bring them back probably in the future but now the map started having them like the buildings are there but they don't have them listed as something you can go do yeah you're making that uh oh face um they uh, did this with the primeval world which has uh -huh. been removed um and the rivers of light which they have removed now they said they were going to bring those shows back and the festival of lion king is an amazing show that they don't bring back my kids are gonna be so mad at you yeah. disney um mm. they don't have them on the map now it could be that there's they just don't they know they're not going to open it again for many months and they just went ahead and did that but why change the whole map I think it's called we're getting rid of all the entertainers and they're fired. They just don't know they're fired yet. And we'll, well, a lot of them were let, let go, laid off. Yeah. yeah. And we'll just turn it into a, because uh, uh, they were greet. union. Yeah, yeah, they were union. We'll, we'll just turn it into a Lion King meet and greet. Or something, yeah. Yeah. We'll put, a, we'll put an Instagram wall just as good. A uh, Lion King Instagram. It, it just you can as be, good. You can be baby Simba. It's like the, yeah. It, yeah, yeah they'll it's they'll like, dangle you. It's like the, the Star wall. Wars story about they're going to have that restaurant with the interactive actors in it. It took it out because someone said, higher up said, well, people are just as entertained taking pictures of themselves and putting them on Instagram. We don't need this. They can just advertise us for, you know, we'll get the free advertisements because that's all they care about is Instagram. So they'll just put like a TikTok yeah. Instagram wall up. The set wasn't. Oh God, um, the set wasn't all bad. Uh, you know, it was okay. I mean, I, I will, I will tell you, uh, we were only down there for what, like three or four days. Yeah. But we had a much better time at Universal uh, overall, I think. And Disney was different. It was different. It was definitely different. And now we're annual pass holders. Uh, we drove down, but if I dropped thousands and thousands of dollars on a once in a lifetime trip, I would have been very disappointed. Right. We actually lost our money for a flight. We did, yeah. Because we were gonna fly down and then we decided not to, so we lost the money for the flight. So we did lose money. I mean, if for no other reason I tell you to wait, because besides the crowds, is they're gonna have park park hopping again next yeah. year, starting in January. So it's gonna be a little different. You have to wait till like I think it's two o'clock and then you can go and you have to have a reservation for the park you start in. I don't think you have to have it for the one you go to after. But they're gonna allow you to do park hopping Pretty soon anyway. And another reason it was like, eh, is because you can go, you only go to the parks that you were had reservations for that day. You yeah. couldn't go to other places. At least you're gonna be able to, to hop around again and things like that. Another reason I'd wait. There's a lot of reasons I'd wait that don't have, have nothing to do with the, the pandemic stuff. Just because it's insane. It's gonna be really interesting to see if Disney changes how they do things now that they're being called out for. But at this point, they're, 
they're running out of money, so rules be damned, guidelines yeah. be damned. We're just going to do it. Although, I'm sure they, made, they got permission. I'm sure they went to the right people to get permission to do what they wanted to do. The right people that, that uh -huh. accepted uh, cash or check. Yeah, the right people. Well, I don't know about that, but the right people that will, will, will err on the side of what they want. Yeah, so um, I don't know, guys. Just, just interesting to see the media uh, call this out, uh, too. Um, I guess they're falling out of love with Disney because before it was Disney could do no wrong. So can restaurants open back up to people in Pennsylvania as long as they have high back chairs? Yeah, right? That's all it takes. Like... Everybody needs a throne. That's you need right. a throne to sit on. As long as you have a throne, uh, you're fine. That The virus can't get, it's too stupid to go over the high back. Right, right, that's right. Even when people aren't wearing their masks. Because, you know, masks <laughs> stop everything. You don't have to stay distant, and, and you can touch whatever they touch, and you're totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, <laughs> I know I saw that. Pearls clutched, masks down. COVID's getting passed all around. Well, I mean, the masks might have fallen down or flew, uh, moved up on these people, but uh, all of them, no. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.